Hey, good Monday, good Monday morning, team. Uh, gonna go ahead and look at odd CAD. Okay, uh, what's for today's date, July the 18th? Um, looks here. If you go to the weekly chart, we had an uptrend and then we broke the downtrend. I mean, we broke the uptrend and then we retested it, and now we're performing a head and shoulders. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I just said. So, here we started an uptrend. Okay. This is what we got going on right now. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, broke it. Broke our trend line. Came up to retest our trend line. Respected it. And now we're performing a head and shoulder, and then we're gonna to continue to drop right here. Okay. Um, something similar that you guys can see what I did with GBP USD. I said buy because what happened is something called uh, the Moolah move. Basically, you have uh, a double bottom, but the difference is one bottom is higher than the, the the second bottom is higher than the first bottom. You see, the second bottom is higher than the first bottom we were coming to a downtrend and then it switched over to an uptrend okay so that's what's happening on GBP USD uh, right here exactly what happened with uh, odd cat on the weekly remember guys uh, we're just really what I'm doing right now is practicing my my uh, trading ability as a whole here uh, so being able to recognize these patterns is crucial as they happen not based on pair to pair but more or less based on price to price okay so all price action acts in a similar fashion that's what I'm proving here so let's go uh, just so I can prove a point here let's go ahead and go to the uh, DVP USD pair GBP USD pair uh, let's go to the four hour chart uh, sideways so there you go it's the same thing right the second the second low is higher than the first low second low is higher than my first low so I'm expecting a continue now a flip see we're going to the downtrend now we're going to an uptrend so uh, like I said stuff can be seen see how you can't see the rest of the price here because it hasn't happened yet right you can't see this price right now because it hasn't happened yet but if we go back to our odd or we're looking at all CAD. It's already happened on the weekly. That exact same pattern happened down here and it continued the uptrend. So um, that's my theory right there. Um, so yeah, so also we'll, we'll, typically what happens on these break of trends, you know, you'll have additional price action patterns uh, to serve as confluence, right? So we got our uptrend being broken. And then here's our head and shoulder. Okay. Notice how everything kind of lines up with my trend lines as well, right? So I have a downtrend coming from the top side. Downtrend coming from the top side. Okay. And then I have an uptrend coming from the bottom side. Okay. And what did price do? Price behaved very respectively in these levels. Broke trend line, retest, came down. Went back up for another retest, uh, came down. Now I'm coming up for another retest, coming down. Why it's doing this, it's performing a head and shoulder price action pattern. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sell Alt CAD right now. That's only weekly chart. Let's go ahead and go down to the daily. Now we know what's happening on the bigger picture. We know we're coming down. Okay, there goes that downtrend, and then there goes my green uptrend again. So right now, price is respecting the 50% level and, in addition, that downtrend level. So, you know, yeah, you could have set a sell limit at the 38.2, but there's no guarantee that that price is going to go up to 38.2. In addition, our downtrend line is acting resistance for that price to reach my Fibonacci 38.2 line, okay? So my trend line is acting as resistance to the 38.2. So remember, our 50% is also a you know strong level. Our 38, 50, and 61. Those are a pretty strong zone of an area, right? So I can do just that. I can draw a zone between my 38.2. Where's that at up here? 
So draw my 38.2 and then draw my, uh, my 61.8. Let's see if that happens to be a zone. And sure enough, it is. Price is bouncing up and down within that zone. Okay. So Fibonacci levels also acts as your uh, zones. So right now, we're actually all the way down to the 61.8 level. Uh, and we're underneath our 200 MA. So it looks like a pretty good time to sell right now. Let me jump on the four hour. Yeah, it looks like, uh, okay, okay, okay. So here we go on the four hour. It looks like we're starting our uh, downtrend. We got some lower lows, don't we? Uh, and lower highs. Let me go ahead and highlight that if you don't see it. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So I can sell at least to the, I'm going I'm to sell right now and take profit at the 78.6 level, okay? So based off of everything that I just seen, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell right now. Let me go to the one hour. Let's see if there's any other additional price action confirmation we can use to go ahead and sell. Uh, not much really. We got a little price action pattern right here on the one hour. We got this guy right you sell right here and you take it to the downside so there's our one hour time action that would have been a perfect time to enter this sell right there but we already missed that train no no worries I think price is about to go down right now uh, we you can see we got lower lows right here ever since that's happened we have lower highs I'm sorry I'm going to go ahead and draw a trend line right there. Uh, but yeah, prices, we're at a very good price point right now to sell the market because it's reaching, it's at the high of our of our resistance. So you always want to sell at the high of your resistance. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sell. Bald cat. All right, cool. So now we sold Bald cat. Uh, Go back to the H4, find our take profit. I said to the next zone, the 78.6 is going to be the zone I want to take profit at. Uh, so let's find out where that is. Uh, da, 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 76. Okay, so where are we at? Right here. So right around the 97. I'm going to go a little bit before that just in case. So let's go to like 97.2. Yeah, I'm gonna just pick 97.2. Okay, all CAD, 97.2. All right. So sell all CAD, take profit, 97.2. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for right now. Uh, Actually, what I can do, I can line up this trend line to see where price is going to run into it, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. I see a little price action down here. It's going to break that trend line. Right here. There we go. That's good. Oh, so that's where we're at right now. We're at resistance on this trend line, okay? Yeah, we're definitely at resistance. So price, uh... Price may respect this and go up. I think, I think it's gonna break it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I see what's gonna go happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise my uh, take profit a little bit because I think we're flipping around right now. Uh, we're gonna break this trend line. We're gonna break this trend line, meet our 200, and come back up. I, that maybe, maybe. That's one possibility. Um, let's see where we're at on daily. Yeah. I'm not too sure. We'll have to watch and play, but right now, I'm doing zone to zone. That's all I have for you guys, Odd CAD. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Bye.